Hello everyone, small disclaimer here. Unfortunately, due to a Steam VR update that happened right as I hit the record button, as well as some uh, VRC lens issues, uh, there's some visual and auditory issues throughout the episode. I uh, just wanted to dis disclaim that before I get a bunch of comments saying there's uh, problems. Uh, I know, <laughs> trust me, I, I was very upset when I saw it, um, but it still is a great episode overall, so I do recommend you still listen and watch. Um, so let's get on with the episode. Welcome everyone to episode two of Nova Notes, where we talk about many different types of content creators, avatar creators, and many other awesome things inside of the platform of VR Chat. I'm your host, Noved Player, and with me today, the legendary Pokemon shorts creator and uh good homie of mine, Zaya VR. How've you doing? <laughs> How've you been? I'm Time to wait. Chilling, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I've been I've been chilling, bro. You know, mm -hmm. moving at my own pace, hanging out with my own bros. You know, doing my own thing. But uh, but yeah, no. So What's the next question. Yeah, I'm getting oh. to it. it. It's a podcast. You know, tell tell us a little bit like what you're about, what type of you know, what type of content you create, you know, stuff like that. Give us a little background of yourself. So I'm a New Yorker. I make skits and memes and, and content based around Pokemon, anime, and basically any game I enjoy. Uh, I've been doing this for about a year. You know, I don't know my sub count because I don't keep track of that stuff. All I keep track of is making sure the content's good and making sure it gets out frequently. Uh, you probably see me make some Pokemon stuff. You probably see me make some Dragon Ball stuff. Some Lee stuff. Uh, the OGs know I made one rare Valorant stuff, but you know, mostly a uh, mostly go to the YouTube shorts and the TikTok genre. But lately, I've been trying to get into some uh, long form content, you know, because gotta, you know, I already made the numbers, I guess, but I need to make some long form, some good, better content and stuff like that. But other than that, yeah, man, I'm just a meme guy, a chill guy, nothing too special, you know. <laughs> Had some little VR <laughs> VR chat issues. Yeah, no. Uh, as yeah, as you make amazing, you know, different content. You know, from Pokemon, Dragon Ball, all these other things. You know, you have some other animes in there too. Um, what what inspired you to get into VR chat as a platform? Gun and knuckles. Gun and knuckles. Yeah, it's a it's pretty um, pretty common one. <laughs> Gun and knuckles. Yeah, I joined when like Gun and knuckles started trending. Uh, then I realized I couldn't even load in the world. So, you know, I had to, uh, 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 I had to wait like three years later to get like a decent PC, play it again. You know, I was just playing regular games, whatnot. Um, and VR is kind of cool just cause you can like, just cause it mostly just cause you got the knuckles and you know, the, uh, the avatar aspect you know you can be anyone you want it's like mad funny memes and stuff like that it was content that got me into this game and now i make content out of the game so yeah that's basically what inspired me yeah absolutely um yeah, yeah i'll say a, lo a lot of people you know knew vr chat because of you got in knuckles and all the other memes around that era um you know do you watch any like youtubers at the time like the the james key videos or like any anything like that like you know the only yeah, the only the only person I watched was James Key, and that's it. That's the only VR content creator I will watch. Uh, if he did VR thing again. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I, I was a I was a big James Key fan, and then he stopped doing something. I and then he stopped doing VR chat be like, and uh, yeah, but that, yeah. that was my biggest inspiration. Yeah, so he actually put out some videos recently uh, regarding VR chat, which is interesting. Um, I think I want to say it was like a week ago, actually a week or two ago, if I remember correctly, but yeah, no, uh, yeah, James Key is definitely up there on, uh, you know, why a lot of people got into VR chat, which is, which is awesome. You know, it's, it's cool that one person can, you know, inspire so many people, you know, what, what, when, so you play Pokemon obviously with, uh, how much, you know, Pokemon shorts you create, you know, what made you, you know, decide to take the route of like going into the Pokemon related stuff. You know, was it just pure, you know, like entertainment of the actual game or was there like a separate reason behind it? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I was thinking, what was it? Pokemon Scarlet and Violet just released. 
and I've been playing like a lot of I've played almost every Pokemon game right it was it wasn't until like uh, uh, a couple months before Scarlet and Violet Pokemon Scarlet Violet release that I started really getting back to VR chat so because of the timing right I was also starting to make content Pokemon Scarlet just released so I was like you know what let me make some Pokemon TikToks uh, but then I realized that like it's going to be hard to make Pokemon TikToks because what I because it was like usually when I go on TikTok and I think of a TikTok I need to like find an audio and then I could do it in VR chat but um, for Pokemon I couldn't really find that so I was like you know what let me just start making my own audio start making my own like type of clips and whatnot and uh yeah that's kind of that's basically how i started getting to pokemon i had like a vast like a very good expansive amount of knowledge of pokemon prior to uh like content creation like i've been playing pokemon since like diamond and pearl and stuff did so back in yeah, the og that, days so i just used that knowledge of pokemon yeah man i used that knowledge of pokemon and i was just like you know what? let me just start making some memes and uh first meme i made um first meme i made i wasn't even gonna upload it but i was like you know what you miss all the shots you don't take and i only said that because i watched a motivational tiktok right before i almost canceled it <laughs> so i just uploaded it and uh at first it was just like eh next thing you know it popped off so i was like oh all right well i'll just i'll just do another one and then another one and then boom there you go yeah absolutely uh so speaking of like inspirational stuff like you know it because a lot of people you know love to try to create content regarding vr chat if you had like one thing to say to like a new you know vr chat content creator what would it be like as an inspiration type thing inspiration your inspiration would be stop being inspired and just keep doing it every single day too many people look for motivation, inspiration, blah 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 blah. Bro, just treat it like a job. Either either uh do it or go or like think about how you're gonna start it for the rest of the day, bro. That's your inspiration. You don't need no inspiration, you need discipline. I I just kept doing it. I I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. Then you look at the numbers, I just kept doing it and then look to do it better the next day. Okay. Bada bing bada boom. You can you keep doing that of anything you want to do, you'll get to anywhere you want to go. Hmm. Yeah, no, it, it definitely takes dedication. Uh I mean for I mean, example, you, you, you've posted you post almost every other day. You know. How, if you had a like a brief estimate of how many hours, like overall, like how much do you think it like filming wise over the years, how much how many hours do you think? If you had to give an estimate, I know it's probably a huge, huge number, don't get me wrong, but like it give it like a rough ballpark number. Probably a thousand. Probably a thousand hours. Two thousand uh, thousand five hundred around that stuff. So, mind you, even like getting a one minute video usually requires like forty minutes and mm. stuff like that. Cause and that's just filming in VR. There's the making the audio, there's coming up with the idea, then there's editing, then there's posting it to all the platforms, and there's making sure you get the right tags and all that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then you always gotta do the, always gotta think of the next video as well, you know? So I'd say uh, probably like a couple, like a thousand, thousand five hundred. But once you get it in the motion, it's really easy. Yeah, I'll say it definitely takes practice, you know, getting, you know, once you get into the groove of things, it definitely is a lot easier as time progresses. I I, I definitely see that. Um, you know, it it's definitely an interesting, you know, path to choose when it comes to, like, creating stuff in VR. Because, I mean, there are so many different types of creators out there, you know. So it's, it's really cool to see what people can come up with um, and how fast things can be come up with. Um, but in a, you know, and another question that, uh, and you, you probably get asked this quite a bit, you know, you do, you know, Twitch, and you do, uh, like VTubing and stuff. Um, was it always the, ch like, obviously with all the Pokemon videos, one of your most known characters in your shorts is, uh, Flora, um, which is from one of the newer gens of Pokemon. 
you know, was was that one always the idea, or was there maybe another Pokemon you thought about choosing for your VTuber model? Um, he was the idea only because I wasn't very good at coming up with ideas, so I was just like, what was it? I like cats. He was a cat thing, and like I said, started creating content around. I started creating content around the same time Scarlet and Violet came out. So, you know, because of the time I really got serious about it, and the time the game released, I was just like, all right, I'll just pick him, and then we just go on from there. All right. Yeah. And fair. because of his success, you know, that's why I kept using him and stuff like that. But honestly, it could have been it could have been anyone. Tbh, it could it could have been like a, a Oshawott or a, a random other Pokemon. But you know, I was just like, you know, eh, I pick him just because it's the, like most recent thing I saw. Yeah, fair enough. I'll say, especially since like it's one of the most memeable characters in that generation, with it being you know the weed cat. You know, it's it's definitely a heavy hitter when it comes to you know making memes and stuff. At least from you know my perspective um you know but yeah no it's it's you know it's really cool to see from the inside you know inside out um when it comes to content careers that's why uh that's why this podcast is made you know it's it's just to understand you know what it's what it's like to be in the position of said creator you know and that's pretty much the whole idea of this podcast um so something else i'll ask you know you said it was around scarlet which was uh it was about 21 2021 22 give or give or take if that sounds right two years ago two years ago yes yeah two years ago 2022 november 2022 yeah yeah so obviously you know that's compared to like a lot of vr chat creators that's not like a whole lot of time but you still do amazing stuff you know, it, you know, given given the time frame, you know, because there's been people on this platform for years that, you know, can't have the determined schedule to put out as much as, you know, you can, you know, and that's not all creators, but some, for example. Um, and like you said earlier, it was definitely based on like discipline and, you know, putting yourself forward, you know, just essentially posting almost all the time, essentially. Um, you know, what? I guess one of my other questions would be what if Pokemon didn't exist um, in the realm of VR chat, what would you would you still do like VR chat related shorts or, you know, what 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 would you do if Pokemon like, let's say VR chat for some reason, not trying to jinx it, but it's happened with movie worlds. So we'll see. But, you know, if companies were to do DMCA's against like using their characters for stuff. You know, would would there be a backup option or is this just, you know, would it be all over essentially? Great thing about VR chat is that and then the, the great thing about VR chat, and this is why I've also made different content besides Pokemon, is that, that there is almost any sort of meme content genre that's on the internet. Okay, as long as someone has made it in VR chat, you could do that in VR chat as well. So even if Pokemon wasn't here in this game, I could still probably do Dragon Ball. I could have still done like League memes. I still could have done like Valorant memes. I still could have done any anime memes, any like random VR chat memes because, uh, what was it? I learned after a while of doing Pokemon. I don't only have to do Pokemon because uh, most of the VR chat content creators that you know didn't even do Pokemon. James Key didn't do Pokemon. He did Uganda Knuckles. Even if Pokemon didn't exist, I would not essentially run out of ideas because there are so many other uh, there's so many internet genres and stuff like that that um, are out there that you can do instead. Like Literally, um, like I said, I, I, I've been thinking of doing more Dragon Ball, doing more anime memes and stuff like that too, because sometimes Pokemon, sometimes get a little stale, it's not much talk about Pokemon, so, you know, yeah man, like, you're, you can't limit yourself, the great thing about being a content creator is, 
um, the limitations of your creativity is only how much you think, uh, is only how much you know at the moment, which is why um, I do like to watch a lot of content and um, watch a lot of content and other VR content creators, kind of more so for inspiration and whatnot. There's some VR chat content creators I used to watch uh, more out of inspiration, which is why I also did some like FNAF memes, some lethal company memes and whatnot. Um, but because I did those, because I watched them, right, and, and, and got inspired to do some stuff, I was able to see that, wow, I really, really, really don't have to just stick to being the Pokemon guy. Pokemon is great. It's my most popular thing. But I don't even check the numbers, so I don't really care. I like to do other stuff. So that's why I like doing Dragon Ball and all the other um, animes and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, if Pokemon wasn't here, you know, um, if Pokemon wasn't here, it wouldn't really affect me too much. It wouldn't really affect me. I always have plan B and then plan C. And even if VR chat wasn't even here, I still also have content ideas. So, like, the whole year, the whole, my whole year last year of uh, growing as a content creator, my channel has grown, but I don't like to flex that. My mind has grown, which is something better than my channel numbers. My mind, my cre my, like, <clears throat> my generation of ideas have have uh expanded so i can now i'm not limited just doing pokemon shorts memes i have such many other ideas out there and whatnot right the only thing that it requires is just the the discipline just to go out there and do it and i'm i'm start and i have that i've been wavering a little bit because i took a break in january but I'm getting my mojo back. So, uh, um, yeah, all in all, I'm just trying to say, like, yeah, man, Pokemon, if Pokemon wasn't out, if Pokemon was out, like, you know, I ain't, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. So you, you said you, you watch, like, a few other content creators for inspiration. Do you, do you have some, like, examples? Like, I know you said James Gear earlier. I watch two because... I only watched two because they were also doing like shorts and YouTube shorts and I, I saw them popping off. So I was like, all right, let me see how the pros are doing it. There's only one person. There's only two people. Um, it was someone named Super Xavier and he has like three channels and he just uploads like VR chat memes up their memes and they just popped off. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Um, and then someone else named Mista K Casta, I think. Mr. Castle, he makes, if you go on VR chat Dragon Ball, you're guaranteed to find one of his shorts and whatnot. Like, I definitely took uh, inspiration from that guy, but I didn't want to do it the same as him. Like, I kind of wanted to add some story and then the meme and stuff like that. So, uh, those are the two <clears throat> creators I uh, take inspiration from. Um, but those are, like, only just for VR, like, how to kind of get it done in vr but i take a lot of my comedic inspiration from a lot of different sources yeah sure like for what for example um i take i take memes for i take comedy inspiration from like other uh comedic skit creators like uh like rdc world i know there's i childhood favorite collab city you know um I literally have to check like my YouTube list. <laughs> You're but good. There's also like some lead creators. It's also like some lead creators and stuff like that. Um, there's also like civilians. There's also I used to be in the Smash scene, so there's also some Smash creators, and whatnot. But yeah, you know, take some like black comedy creators and whatnot, and you know, um, some some of it's from like those creators. Like some of my comments from those creators. Other other um sources of comedy i have is kind of just from just from my environment like my friends i grew up with and where i'm at and stuff like that and some of it's also just off the top of my head you know um definitely boondocks like <laughs> that's also a good <laughs> source as well i love i love the boondocks every black person loves the boondocks so yeah definitely a definitely a legendary series yeah one of the best adult swim series out there um yeah, no, that's it's it's cool that you know it's so many different aspects of inspiration. You know, despite you know 
you know, you, you do so much different types of content, but it's cool to see all the different variants of, you know, inspiration behind the scenes. Um, you know, it, as, as somebody who, I mean, you're on VR chat almost, almost daily, you know, it, if you had to change something I've asked, uh, you know, and I'm going to ask all my guests, if you had to change one thing, uh, about VR chat as a platform, um, what would it be and why? change the racism out of this game that's one thing for sure boy you can't go no lobby in this game without some uh goomba saying some nonsense out in here that's one thing i change but change like change the moderation of this game how about that change the, i can't go and i you can't even stream in this game first time i streamed in this game out someone sent me an invite boy i can't even say what the profile picture was but i'll tell you this it was a long long of some i have one <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no uh, it this, uh, pay, definitely this moderation is too many too many races sorry mm. no you're good you're good um yeah and that seems to be a that seems to be a frequent thing with uh a lot of people is, uh, and you know, as unfortunately it goes with any social media platform is unfortunately what I learned. Um, but hopefully, you know, one day they get more involved with like dealing with those types of reports and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, uh, <laughs> one day, hopefully, you know, <laughs> one can hope knock mm. on wood. Um, you know, it, it's, it's truly upsetting that, you know, a lot of streamers, you know, a lot of content creators have to deal with that though. You know, it's, you know, I, I can't say too much, you know, because, you know, but I, I see it secondhand, you know, going into like a public black hat or, you know, any popular world instance, it's, it's almost, almost everywhere. Like no matter where you go, unless if it's with like a friend's, you know, or friends mm -hmm. plus instance, hopefully one day there'll be, you know, a better way for, you know, things to actually take place for people that, you know, spread that racism honestly you know <laughs> it you know it unfortunately mm -hmm. that's that's a very sad thing about the world unfortunately but hopefully uh as a platform it, it'll get better you know that's something we can all hope for so you you obviously do uh twitch streaming and vtubing and all that um you know what what type of relations uh can you portray like because you, you you stream on multiple platforms like youtube twitch tiktok um, what would be the preferred place to stream, uh, like in general? Just Twitch. Honestly, well, Twitch for now, uh, if YouTube wasn't like, like an old head and actually updated their streaming thing, even if it like, even if it like was like a glass copy of Twitch and everybody knew if it was, if it resembled if YouTube resembled 20% of Twitch's streaming scene and stuff like that, bishmillah, oh, I would only go to YouTube. But Twitch right now is like the only like real good viable place because there's a lot of stuff you can do as a, uh, you can do more stuff as a streamer and also more stuff as a viewer. Because um, recently I just discovered that you can play any music you want on Twitch uh, without getting like DMCA, but you can't do it with youtube unfortunately because youtube is just that old and you just can't really youtube just hasn't updated their stuff um like that but twitch has it there's a lot more integrations a lot more stuff you can do uh with external applications and stuff like that with twitch um the only reason i don't like twitch is the ads the ads are disgusting like um even as a uh even even as like a as a creator you love ads because obviously if i have the big audience and stuff like that i would love running like three ads per hour but like as a viewer it's it's dis it's really disgusting and i don't think i'll ever reach a point to where i'd say like the the amount of ads they have on twitch should only happen on like big streams because on small streams the ads are ridiculous like bro you're coming on a 10 viewer stream to twitch and you get boom two minute ads boy i ain't watching i am not watching two minute ads bro that month can uh that month can stay at 10 viewers he ain't getting that extra view and i ain't watching them those ads and that's what i and twitch is like i don't know twitch is real stupid for uh 
having like the same three minute ads like for every streamer like regarding regardless of the of the view count i would stay i would stream only to youtube if i could but personally there's just a lot more features that i think on twitch improves the viewing experience than on youtube okay also you just don't you don't think of watching a youtube stream unless it's like uh like a like a really super cool thing you know what i'm saying uh but on twitch you know you always go with the expectation like oh, okay yeah i'll just watch this dude who's playing the game while i'm playing and like who's playing the game that i'm playing and i'll just have a stream on the background and you only really think of youtube as like a an event type of stream you know what i'm saying so um that's why i like twitch more because i don't think my i don't think my streams are like that incredibly special like you know i don't want to like stream every like once or like every once or twice a month i want to stream like almost every, every other day because once i'm done my once i'm done my videos i mostly just game so i don't mind streaming that part too um but and that's on twitch's only site i feel like you can actually do that um streaming to tiktok boy <laughs> Lord have mercy. I don't want to talk about streaming to TikTok. I mean, TikTok kids or something else, man. That's all I got to say about that platform. Fair enough. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely it's definitely a different breed. Um, I mean, it, that goes with, you know, anything, you know, outside of Twitch. You know, YouTube audience is a whole different, you know, concept. Twi TikTok, you know, even other platforms, you know, like Kick or, you know, other things. They're all different, unfortunately different types of audiences and it can really deter you know a person from streaming on said platform you know it just kind of just kind of depends you know um mm. yeah because i mean there, there's been you know from what i've seen there's been times you streamed on all three you know simultaneously um which is awesome you know it's cool that you can get outreach but you know it's one of those is it worth it kind of situations like you know mentally no mentally it ain't, it ain't worth it that's why i'm gonna probably just get i'm getting back to streaming just to twitch only because uh if i the smart thing to do or like for like viewership wise streaming to all these platforms is great and whatnot the only other platform i think i'll stream to is just like tiktok only just like advertise my twitch right but streaming to all these other platforms like youtube it's it is not really worth it because well one as a content creator it doesn't matter what size you are you shouldn't even be looking at the view count anyways so i don't really know like how much of a difference it is i, have, I haven't looked at the view count like in months um so i don't really know what the difference is but um what you call it's not even if the view count was like higher you sh you don't want your um you don't want to go ahead and uh stream to these different platforms if, if you're not enjoying it like i enjoy streaming to twitch and streaming to tiktok because i get higher quality viewers than uh, a massive amount and i think when you're streaming it matters more about the the quality matters over the quantity if you're really trying to build a relationship with some of your viewers and stuff like that that's what i think is the best part because if i didn't care about the quality of relationship with viewers i would never stream i just keep making videos 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 and i would never talk to anybody i turn off all comments i wouldn't give it i wouldn't give a shit about the uh about the people but when i stream if i'm streaming often i i care about the people who come through you know what i'm saying yes it would be nice if i like streamed every time i see chat flowing with like good messages every time we have a gaming moment but you know what i'm saying like bro the, the, but even so even without all those like messages as long as the quality is there that's all that really matters man okay and some people will probably be like but what about the money bro if you make if you have good quality people you ain't gotta worry about the money if you have good quality people you ain't gotta worry about the money the money's gonna be there because you got the community who's got your back in case time gets rough okay and also um if you're really concerned about the money uh 
you just need to if the quality of your stream is good you can just make that like into a clip ship it out to the other platforms and grow your stream bigger so literally it's 100 percent about the quality in both emotional terms and logical terms uh yeah no yeah i mean that's yeah definitely some wise words right there for sure you know the the community is what makes the platform you know doesn't matter if it's vr chat twitch you know or anything community all, all streaming and content creation is is realistically you know about community it ain't about the viewership it's not about the numbers you know it's not about the money it's it's really at least from my experience it's just about you know building a community that you know can get behind you essentially you know and that could be you know that could be good or bad depending on how you look at it <laughs> but you know um i was gonna say because th there's been times um you know like you said you took a break and stuff you know what was it just a case of burnout or you know was it just time to step aside and you know get things together no, nah, it wasn't no burnout. I took a break uh, in January this year because, uh, what you call, I was getting bored. Of, I was getting bored of shiny hunts for a little bit, and like if you do it so much, uh, you need like you you need like a balance. So if you do it like so much, you need to like do something else and whatnot. But um, I also did hard grind in December, like almost video day after day and then stream same day as well. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to give myself the month of January to break. Also, also, because I wanted to socialize a lot more because, um, what you call, I was making videos and stuff like that, which is great and all, but I didn't really have, like, that many friends to talk to or whatnot. Um, I didn't really, like, like, I didn't really have that many people to, to talk to. Like, there's, um, I had, like, what? 14 people added on this game bro and most of them were probably orange so like literally i had no one to talk to um and you know i'm more of a lone like a lone wolf type person whatever but uh everyone's still human and humans are always emotional creatures so i still need to like every now and then be social um so i was like you know let me take this month to just like spend less time worrying about videos and whatnot and spend more time um hanging out with some people making some friends and stuff like that and uh i did that you know got to met some people not incredible not not all bad people met some good and met some mid but uh not not really bad people but uh i would say now because of my efforts um because of my efforts i'm in like i'm in more than three discord servers uh one not including my own right i'm in more than three discord servers because literally like my discord is like a, a, a blank canvas bro like i literally barely talk to anyone outside of videos and whatnot um but i actually you know found a friend group of people that i like and stuff like that hang out with some people um and uh, and yeah so it was really good for me to do that because now i have like people to look forward to after i finish a stream or finish uh, videos and that's something i didn't have before january because like bro um i was so focused on just uh getting the videos done and they're working out um but then you know didn't have anyone to talk to so some nights were hard but uh I'm glad I I'm glad I took the month of January off. I'm glad I took the month of January off. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I mean this is a social platform, so it's you know it's glad to hear that, you know, you've grown on the social side, you know, over that month or so. You know. Um <laughs> speaking speaking from experience, like maybe it's just because of like all the different, you know, people and community to work with, but I'm starting to get to the point to where I have to like get rid of like emote servers. <laughs> <laughs> um that i used to use you know just for e emoticons or emoji purposes um but no it, yeah, it's man. i used to have discord nitro i used to have discord nitro but like uh i i used to like always have discord nitro every month two years ago now i don't even want to see an email from this company 
I'm not, I'm genuinely not paying a single dollar to this thing anymore. I don't have. I used to be in a ton of email servers. Now I'm only in like six servers, stuff like that. So yeah. 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 Um, I remember you saying uh, on a stream that well, you said also today uh, or this evening, um, you were looking into like maybe making longer form like content. Um, you know, and you do have like the Dragon Ball series um, that you have on your channel. You know, is there any other types of you know long form content that you're looking forward to making? Other long form content, I experiment with my second channel. Um, some more story times, some more uh, like some more covering some news on games I like because comedy comedy shorts and whatnot and like skits are great but uh um i want to do more like story times and whatnot i want to like uh do more um i want to do more uh news coverage because when i was younger um when i was like really 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 younger i liked was always uh, my first like type of uh content i was into was like pokemon how to videos so and i kind of really liked watching videos of people explain stuff on games i like and whatnot so um that's something i've been trying to get into i've been trying to do some story times some like news coverage and whatnot i've been spending on my secondary channel um and i think i'm gonna put all that type of content on a second channel i might rename it like zaya story time instead of Zaya VR. Um, but yeah, I've been looking forward to doing that type of content and stuff, just covering news and 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 stories and stuff. It can be about Pokemon, it can be about anime, it can be about like games and stuff like that. Um, that I play and stuff like that. But yeah, that's a longer form because uh, I've been I've been inspired by like watching some recent content creators. Who like do story times and like kind of make it entertaining and i just realized i just be like sitting there i just watch all of it like in the background and i really like and i really like uh like listening to it so if i like it i'm gonna start i want to start doing something similar to that but better so that's the type of content i'm getting into hell yeah hell yeah you know it's 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 definitely cool to see when you know because obviously you've done short form content for such a long time um you know it's cool to see you wanting to do like longer form content and stuff like i know you have uh you just started doing a bit on twitch uh where you'll ask your discord like questions that they want asked and stuff and you know it's definitely a good way to get the community involved you know see granted it's not always the greatest <laughs> you'll uh, you'll have your uh you'll have your trolls like posting you know not real questions and whatnot but overall you know it seems seems like a good experience you know would you know is there any plans for like any other community related you know stuff like that um there are plans but i need to find a way to really advertise the discord more because i just recently remade it so yeah we could i can definitely do more ask questions i just need like a lot more questions and whatnot um i can usually if i really wanted questions i could ask like youtube instead of discord but um you know i could do definitely more community stuff like that if we get like a lot more people but right now we don't have that many people in the discord so um i will definitely once we do get more i will definitely do some more stuff like that i kind of want to do like answer more questions <clears throat> answer more questions um i want to do like a mod like application and stuff like that we rate like we rate like uh like we rate people for like how good of a mod they'll be you know we can do some more stuff where people come on the stream and you know show us like show us something on like their game and whatnot or show us something cool you know um and i've gotten inspiration from that from watching like a lot of fellow uh black streamers and stuff like that who do that type of discord stuff so definitely definitely want to grow the discord into into a community like that but it's gonna take some time and i'm gonna need to like really get like numbers and people to come through in order to do that so yeah 
Yeah, I mean, give it time. I'm. I guarantee it'll. It, I mean, it's it's growing almost daily, you know. So give it time, and it'll definitely get up there. At least from what I see, um, there's almost not a single day where there isn't like at least four or five new people within like an hour or two, you know. Which considering that's pretty decent <laughs> compared to yeah, compared to a lot of brother, stuff. We gonna... That's some, that's some small numbers, boy. We need bigger numbers than that. I need a, boy. I should need to be able to scroll to the bottom, uh, <laughs> and count all the people, bro. We need bigger numbers than that, which is why I'm not stressing about the Discord too much. Um, but I definitely got to work on getting it advertised a lot more. Yeah, this and is, so yeah, yeah. So this is definitely one one way to do it, cause. Uh, all of his descriptions will be down or all of his descriptions ha, English all of his links will be down in the description so please make sure if you're looking at the YouTube or Spotify make sure to check that description for all the links for Zaya's stuff including Twitch YouTube TikTok uh, all the discord link as well you know all that stuff so make sure to check down below for all that stuff but you know we've actually uh, you know we we've got a lot of different you know creators um, you know, coming on the podcast in the next couple of episodes. Um, if you had to recommend, you know, any, I mean, you, you already, you already said a few of them, just to name names, but, uh, you know, you, you've, you've been around the block of VR chat. Is there any particular, um, like VR world avatar creators, um, you know, that kind of essentially helped you get to where you are at all, you know? Oh no, no! I I don't do any collabs. I rarely speak to any other content creators and whatnot. I I don't do, I don't do lots of that. Like literally, I just like come up with all this stuff by myself. I record by myself. Maybe every now and then I'll like, not even every now and then. Every blue moon, I'll like have. If you hear a different voice and stuff in the in the video, that's uh then that's probably like the very rare time i ask somebody to uh, to, to help with a video but like nah man uh, there's no one else to help me um and i don't really look for collabs i don't really look for help and whatnot i'd rather grow my stuff by myself or not grow it at all you know what i'm saying no and that that's definitely a fair point you know and it's all it's all a matter of preference you know there's people who would love to collab and then there's people that you know don't really want to for you know whatever reason they may have you know, it's just a, just a preference thing. I, I, t I totally get that, you know, and I know you are also restarting up the, uh, VR chat group, um, as well. Uh, the other one went away for reasons. Um, but you know, it's cool to see that you, you're building up back up, you know, from the ground up the, I know, I know yeah, you had, I've been trying to build it back up. Yeah. And, uh, obviously I would assume you have like, you know, some plans in regards to, you know, running like group events and whatnot or is that still something on the back burner the plan the plans will come once we have like a sizable decent amount of people like i want to i want to grow it to where i open up a portal i don't even have to announce it we got like people coming through bro but that's going to take some time um so a lot of group events and stuff they're going to be very far down the future very far down the line um <clears throat> I, I want to grow it to the point to where it feels like a full like a like everyone in VR chat knows about it. So, but that's gonna that's gonna take some time. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna take some time. Uh, but for now, they're mostly on the hiatus because I gotta make sure I want it to be big and stuff and whatnot. And we also gotta filter out some of the the stupid people that be coming through some of the events and stuff. So yeah, yeah, stupid people mean like you know. The people who can't handle <laughs> basic common decency. Trolls, clashers, uh, <laughs> trolls, clashers, um, and just nuisance people in general. That's, That's fair. It. Yeah, no, because it's always, especially, you know, on a streaming platform too. You know, if you did streamed events, yeah, it's definitely a good thing to weed some of those out. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's super cool, you know, because I've known you for, I don't know, a little bit less, a little bit less than a year, probably, if I had to guess, um, give or take, you know, and it, it's cool to see, you know, how much you've grown. Um, 
It's going to be really weird for the people that are uh, not video watchers. <laughs> we, we do have somebody in the background uh, this episode. Um, but anyways, uh, but yeah, no, it, you know, with with how much you've done, you know, you, you say you stay disciplined. Is there any is there any other words of advice or like any other creators out there or something you would prefer to see in maybe the world of VR chat? Uh, like not talking like, you know, moderation side, but just like what would be something cool that you'd like to see in VR chat, I guess is what I'm saying. Oh, it'd be cool. It'd be cool. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I would say one thing that would be cool that I like to see a lot more of is more diversity in the terms of the content creators and what's on on this game because uh one thing you'll notice as a, a black man on vr chat is that there is very 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 rarely any people of color uh creators on this game not much that make it to uh, even a decentable size and whatnot there's not that much black humor on this game and whatnot um that could be because there's a lot of natural deterrence like i said in like public areas and whatnot and just um a lot of not really caring about the moderation one thing I, so yeah i would say if there's more diversity in this game in terms of like content like I would love to see more, um, and it doesn't have to only just be like black, like it could be like Spanish, uh, EU, you know, Australia. I just want to see more diversity, uh, in the game in terms of like content creators, whatnot. Cause I feel like if I think about, if I think about the content creators and stuff like that and all the, all the thing and all the people that like VR chat themselves with, uh, like themselves would advertise not this i'm gonna tell you this right now it's either some anime girl or it's some you know um you know you know what i'm saying uh you you you, you know what i'm referencing to right yeah of course. But, um yeah man it's just that that'd be really cool for me personally i'd like to see more uh black content creators on this uh platform doing their stuff and um uh, and and also not letting egos collide as well i think uh this could be a great place where uh black content creators can flourish and as long as ego doesn't get in the way you know you can definitely definitely see different forms of comedy whatnot on this game or whatnot because i ain't gonna lie to you out of all the like vr content i've laughed at i have not really laughed that much at most vr content but um with my friend group that i'm in my my uh my friend group we call it the end table um i've laughed more with them than the trillions or not trillions but like thousands of like thousands of vr uh skits and memes that i've took that i've taken inspiration from i've laughed more with my friend group of people of my own skin tone than the content i consume to get inspired from and whatnot so that's definitely something i would uh like to see be more implemented in just more more acceptance of people uh, of 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 uh minorities in this game that'd mm. be that'd be thing yeah yeah that would i would love to see that you know something you know with the different types of creators you know i you know we got people from canada you know uh, north like USA, we got, uh, we actually have a Czech Republic guest that's going to come on in a, in a soon to be released episode. Um, you know, it, I'm very, I'm very excited to, you know, see the different perspectives, uh, within, you know, VR chat from different creators. Um, I guess one of the, one of the last questions that I got for you, you know, um, what are some challenges when it's, uh, what are the challenges that you face when like promoting your content? you know was was there any like snags along the way you know starting off till now or you know what what are some like challenges you faced challenges um i i wouldn't really say challenges because i never really like 
I wouldn't really say there was many challenges because I didn't even do anything special to promote it. It just kind of went big out of nowhere. Like, I legit did not do anything too special. Like, the first, my first Pokemon video with Flora, it just popped off, right? I just checked back in after, like, getting ready to upload the second video on my page, and it just popped off. You know what? So, like, there wasn't really anything too special I did. I just, I would say, the, technically, the only challenge there technically was was just to make sure the next video was better or better than better than the last one that's the only real challenge the only real challenge you really have to go through i don't really i don't really put that much emphasis on the numbers outside of a more logical like point of view i really only think of numbers as like okay like like just like how you get like a score back up from a test i think of numbers like okay if it did numbers great if it didn't do numbers study harder do the next test tomorrow do the next test better tomorrow right so um like i said don't really didn't didn't, didn't really do anything too special it's really only about discipline and whatnot um but just getting the video done and as frequently as possible that's how you that's how you do it and whatnot so yeah well that is all the questions i have for you so it is the getting to the end of the episode um i will uh if you have anything you want to promote um anything that will be in the description you know anything you want the listeners uh to maybe follow regarding your platform uh I'll let you take a moment and, you know, give you a chance to promote whatever you want to promote. And yeah. <laughs> uh, um, well, no, man. No, I ain't got nothing to promote, man. I ain't got nothing to promote. Um, YouTube.com slash IVR. That's it. Yeah. Just the, just, just the YouTube. <laughs> just, just the YouTube, man. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, I mean, you do also stream on Twitch and, you know, all the other stuff, too. You never know. Yeah. Fair enough. If, they, if, if, you know what I'm saying? It's fair I enough. Know, I already told you, man, I don't I don't even, like, go to other people to help promote stuff. To me, I already got that self motor, bro. If I wanted to go big, just make better content, tell them to go through afterwards. They'll come through if they want to come through. I don't need to, I don't need to promote, but thank you. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. Well, regardless, all of them will be down in the description regardless, you know, because I make sure at least they're represented because, you know, these guests of mine are fantastic homies of mine. And, you know, as stated before numerous times, if it weren't for these guests and many of my other homies inside of VR chat, I wouldn't really have the inspiration to do all this. So, you know, Zaya, thank you, you know, for coming on the Nova Notes podcast. It's much appreciated. And, you know, hope uh, hope, hope it was somewhat of an experience. <laughs> Whoop! Yes. <laughs> Switching the gun and knuckles, but uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching Hi. the uh, second episode of Nova Notes uh, featuring Zaya. Uh, we will see you on the next episode, and y'all take care. <laughs>